hi guys a lot of you are going to agree with me that migrating to canada as a nurse is not the easiest thing especially if you are one trained outside of canada well even some people prefers to travel to canada using the student route like going there for their master's degree rather than even going there directly through work because you have to go through series of verification you still have to write the licensing exam and it's not the easiest thing to do today i come bearing good news so a particular province called the Novia Scotia, sorry for my pronunciation, the Novia Scotia province, which is under the NSCN, have decided to open their hands towards people from some specific countries, which include Nigeria, Philippines, India, New Zealand, USA. And if you know that you are from this country, or if you know someone from these countries, you need to watch to the end and get enough of this gist. My name is Stella, and in this channel we talk about relocation and everything about life in general. Now, let's get started. If you are new to this channel, my name is Stella and um, I said the youngest people of the So, to apply for this discount, this award. Now, what is the difference and similarity between the two? Now, ask yourself. Welcome back, guys. So, for you to relocate to Canada as a nurse, you know it involves series of stages whereby you have to apply to the licensing body, you have to pay some fee. Well, this video is not about relocating directly to Canada using the old process. If you would like me to talk about it, you can kindly put that in the comment section and we will consider it. Today, we're talking about the good news on the new update brought in by this particular province. So I'm going to be reading what they said so I won't be making any mistake. So I'll be talking in their own words. So they said that nurses who demonstrate good standing and good character and are currently licensed in philippines india nigeria usa uk australia are eligible with no other requirements other than being eligible for the registration and then they added something else they said these changes are going to come to effect when in march 29 2023 but on this day it's going to be for those that are holding current licensure in any canada province or territory you know that um your licensing um the licensing process in canada is different it varies from province to province so you have to be sure that this particular province is accepting your own license and everything so it's a whole lot so they're saying now that for march 2023 if you are qualified that you hold any licensure in any of canada province you are going to be able to apply directly but if you hold licensure in philippines india nigeria and all that for may 1st 2023 you'll be able to apply directly now they said what are the eligibility criteria eligibility criteria involves you holding a current licensure in good standing with one of the designated jurisdiction listed above that's those countries that were listed and then it also says that you will need to write the NCLEX exam. So if you haven't written the NCLEX exam and you are from these countries, you will need to write the NCLEX exam. Now, what is the application process? I'm going to be telling you all that. Don't worry, we've got you covered. For the application process, number one is you need to complete an NSCN application. I'm going to be dropping the link in the description so you can see where you can go to get further information if you need to know much about this process number two you need to submit two pieces of, of identification now it's probably going to be your international passport or and probably your driver license or or an international passport and maybe a bank statement but just a means of identification number three you will need to arrange for verification of registration which is called vor from your current regulatory body to be submitted directly to nscn so let's say you are registered with nigeria for example you will need to apply to your country to send a message with you know, fill a form and send a message directly to the canadian body canadian body is not going to accept it if you are the one that sent the message by yourself so it has to be your own body that sends it directly to canadian nursing body 
Number five, for nurses from outside of Canada, you will need to arrange for a criminal record checks to be submitted directly to NSCM. Now, for you to go to this to get this criminal record check, you it's something you can do online, and they have several um companies that they recommended on their website for you to be able to go through so you can get it online. They also said that you can tell your local police to fill the crc form and then they will send the hard copy directly to them or just make life easy for you just go through it online so these are the application process that they have listed on their website for you to go through if you are actually interested in going to canada then they also said that for the fee at the moment is still currently under review they haven't stated any fee because this is a new development and don't worry trust us to keep you updated so if you haven't subscribed to this channel it's time to do so hit the like button hit that subscribe button the notification bell because we are going to be updating you about the process like it's getting hot i know a lot of people really want to move to canada but the process can be so so exhausting well this is good news for you all now, also said for current applicants, if you have already started an application with this body, we will reach out to you individually over the next three to four weeks and provide you with an update on your application. So if you have already started the process, let's say for those that didn't mind the old process and just wanted to go to Canada by all means, well, don't worry about it because they are going to get, they are going to contact you and let you know about the process. I'm sure it's going to be good news. I'm very sure. And before I forget, you are going to need an English requirement. Yes, you are going to need one. So if you are from countries that are not known to be English speaking, probably countries from Africa or from the Philippines or India, you are going to need to write IELTS. Don't worry about it. The IELTS requirement as a score is a low one. It's not like probably the UK that you have to have 7.0 and all that. It's something that you can easily get. So calm down okay now someone will ask me okay after getting this application what's next what do i do well the moment you've gone through the application process and you've gotten your license if you follow the process listed by the cn body well the next thing you're going to do is to try and get either a job or try to find out which immigration routes you are going to use from what i've discovered there are three immigration routes nurses use to move directly to Canada. So one is either the express entry, number two is either the quick break skilled worker route, or number three is either the provincial nominee program. I'm going to be talking about this three different routes in another video. So if, like I say, you're interested in knowing more about this route, hit the subscribe button because it's about to get hot now thank you for watching this video and we are going to keep you updated if there's any other further information from this body now bye for now see you in our next video